yesterday so I didn't get on but today I want to talk about how to keep your cigars because you don't want a crumbly cigar so you got to keep those cigars nice and um, soft and fresh tasting and um, smooth when you get when you get one lit so this is a humidor or a humidor humidor I've heard it pronounced both ways so there's supposed to be a screen right here with like a vent on it and that's where you put your humidification solution and you just it's like a little bottle I'll find a picture and put it up but you take it out it has like a filter inside of it and you soak it for about 20 minutes 15 or 20 minutes um, in that humidification solution and you let it soak there and then when you take it out, you just put it back here. Sometimes it's little and round. You'll get a little round one. You can, a, a section. This one is pretty long, bigger. But. Um, so what I actually do is when I, you know, if I go travel, you know, I'm bringing cigars. I'll, uh, you know, put, put a couple cigars in here with this. Or I'll just use this baggie right here. This keeps it about 72% humid. Um, and you, sometimes you just, it's a two way um, control for humidity, humidity control. And it's made by um, a company called Bovida. Bovida. So I like mine about 72%. Um, you can keep them from anywhere from 65 to 70, but you don't want to go over 75 or 275. Mine right now is like 61, so I need to put more water in it. But I won't use tap water. Um, and I just, just fill up this little container right here if I need a little bit more humidity. And I'll just put it in it right there. little thing. Hate to put your finger in that. Ah! Mine came with the little key. Fancy. Fancy. Little drawer. Keep my cutter in there. Keep my key in there. Very, very classy. Very nice. Oh. That wasn't. <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, here it is. So, yeah. I think it broke or something. I can't remember why. Maybe it doesn't stick on the back. That's why. See, that goes right there like that. You put that humidification solution on there. You soak that in there for about 20 minutes. I have lovely Cubans in here in the box still. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I don't care. And mine are nice and soft. See? They're not crun crusty and crunchy. They're beautiful. That's the way they're supposed to be. So, ta da! Oh. Like I said, it has like, a special little lock. Keep the kiddos out, or the, or the nosy roommate, or the somebody who's you know stealing your stuff. It's always nice. On um, Amazon or eBay, I'm sure it's on both. So find that about anywhere. I'm gonna show you how to cut a cigar. There's three ways to cut a cigar. Like, what is it? Straight, straight cut, B cut, or cigar punch. And that's the three ways that you're going to uh, get your cigar cut here. And of course, I'm just going to show you the straight cut. Now on the straight cut, 
you just want to get just the just the tip of this cap right here you don't want to go too far so you want to get just 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 the, the tip of it here so you want it to look like You want it to look like that. It's just a tip. And right there. See that? Some people do it way, 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 way too, uh, way too far. But that's about how you want it. Just a tip. Straight. I'll go outside and light this. Sometimes, you know, it all depends on how how it's rolled, you know, if it's going to draw good, so. So that is that. So now it's time to go outside and smoke our cigar. Nice draw. Oh yeah. That's how you do it. So everything looks good. Everything's drawn good. See that? Nice draw. What the guy looks like after smoking a little bit of it. All right, guys. It's like a donut. Hope you guys enjoy your Saturday and the rest of your weekend. I know I am. This is a life right here. You guys enjoy your Saturday and enjoy your Sunday, okay? Mm -hmm.